you cannot evaluate a person just by looking at their methylation. You have to look at methylation and epigenetics together. Mm-hmm. You have to, because otherwise you'll get the wrong answer. In other words, if just to give you an example, um, people talk a lot about the COMT SNP. Right. Okay, and, and that's, and that's a, that COMT is where your dopamine, with the assistance of the, of the comp enzyme, methylates, you have, you have, you have a methylation reaction where the, the dopamine plus SAMI results in something else. It's the way you get rid of some of the get dopamine. Get rid of the dopamine, yep. So, so all the people, including uh, the some of the names, the people you mentioned, and a lot of, a lot of really good uh, um, clinicians and doctors and all, if they find that, find that you've got a, a, um, a SNP that, slow, that, that, um, the COMT variants, yeah. Their, their conclusion is if you give if you give this person SAMI or methionine, you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna over uh, destroy the dopamine and you're and you're gonna be and it's gonna be low dopamine. But the reality is if you give those people SAMI or methionine, you will increase dopamine activity. Oh, interesting. Because of epigenetics, epigenetics, which has to do with the regulation of gene expression. And and so there there are there are thousands of people now being treated improperly because of their methylation of the, the correct evaluation of their methylation. And I think this this was really important for me to understand is that there's two places where these nutrients are really doing the bulwark of the work, right? So it's it's happening with the neurotransmitter, like dopamine that you mentioned, and then it's also going into the cell and going into the gen into the genetic material, and it's changing yeah. what's getting expressed. So- To watch the full episode or to subscribe to the podcast, click the link in the description or visit us at neurohacker.com slash collective insights.